What are you all shooting at? Nada, güey, a nada, al sol, no sé, cabrón. Estoy aburrido, chingada, no hay un puto helicóptero. Puta madre. Sus putos amigos son al salir. No me hables así, eh. Tenme respeto, cabrón. Helicopter incoming. Uh, that bitch is on fire. Now we're getting a problem, I think. They're gonna die! Fly that motherfucker! Fly it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! This was probably the most requested mod on the channel for me to play in a long while. The last time that I played a mod like this for Battlefield 3 was Venice Unleashed, and it was fun, and I had a really great time, but unfortunately, it kind of flopped, like, about a day or two after it released. There was not a whole lot of people playing it, and I think that's mostly because it just never really got a whole lot of attention, or there wasn't a whole lot of press about it. There was maybe, like, one or two channels that were really covering it. But I think this mod is definitely going to do a little better because it has the word reality project reality behind it and basically what it is is a, a more faster paced squad or a more updated project reality but without vehicles or at least the service that i was in never had any vehicles the gameplay and gunplay is actually pretty good if you play battlefield 3 before then you obviously you know know what it feels like the only difference really is that they basically made it so that you're not infinitely running everywhere they added like a cooldown to it which isn't necessarily bad but you're mostly on maps that i feel require vehicles vehicles and the only vehicles that they really have in the game was just at the moment was a helicopter and a boat is from what i saw i'm sure they'll add in more vehicles i'm assuming that they chose battlefield 3 because it's like peak battlefield a lot of people consider it the best before it started to go downhill so yeah it is pretty good but i definitely have a bit of problems with it that i'd like to go over because i think that they're still working on it and if they are here's just a couple of things some things that i think are pretty easily fixable but do kind of hinder the game just a little bit so aside from trying to remember the battlefield 3 password and get it to work and re-downloading venice unleashed mod or launcher or whatever it is the first one is obviously desyncing and optimization it's not terrible but there are some times when i'm like running and then the game will like stop me and there's like no invisible wall or i'll get jumped back just a couple of steps that was kind of annoying there were times when i saw some frame drops and also some screen tearing i can't really tell if that's the mod or the game itself but if it is on there and then they should probably fix that again not terrible but it's a little annoying overall it played pretty well for the most part. Did I mention that this mod makes the game really gorgeous looking? I haven't played Battlefield 3 in like years so I don't even remember what it used to look like. I can't really tell if it's the mod that makes this game look so good or if it's always been like this but it's gorgeous not gonna lie. But anyways the game actually did crash for me like after two hours. Um okay great game pro just gotta love it. Gotta love it. Well, I guess that's my cue to stop playing. But aside from that, it was doing pretty well. At the very beginning of each match, it would randomly spawn me in as a different class than the one that I had actually picked. Like, I wanted to be a medic, but it spawned me in as a supporter class, the guy with the ammo. Why do I have an ammo bag? I thought I'd pick medic. Same thing happened to me in multiple matches, but it would do it randomly. That was a thing. I think some things that really annoyed me was that you couldn't adjust the volume of teammates, so people would literally just scream into the fucking mics. Good game. Oh. <laughs> GG's. GG's, boys. Okay. What? Okay, let's go. Okay, wow. Good singing. Good singing. <laughs> very high notes, very high notes, very, very high notes. Do it again. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really lucky that there was a freaking mute button because if not, then I'd go insane. For some reason, the Russian scope had like a really bad lens flare. Every time that you would zoom in, it like brightened everything up to the point that I couldn't see anything. Now, I'm not sure if it was just because of the map that I was on or if it's actually something that's just baked right into the freaking scope or I don't know. But it only seemed to happen with the Russian scope and not the American one. Like if they could somehow fix that or just like get rid of that. I tried to see if I could like do something about it in the options, but I wasn't really sure what to look for. That was annoying. 
annoying. Now again, I'm not sure if that's the game or if that's the mod, but it would be cool if you guys could just get rid of that freaking lens flare because it just gets really annoying. Uh, on some maps, it feels like the teams aren't distinct enough. One of the urban maps that I was playing on, the Russians and the Americans looked very similar to the point that I was seeing like multiple team kills just at the top right. The only way that I could really tell that they were different is if I looked at their guns, whether he was holding an M4 or an AK. That was kind of hard to uh, tell. I should probably also mention that because this is like a squad or project reality type of game, each faction gets like their own type of rifle. So you don't get like the customization that you would normally get with a battlefield game, which kind of sucks. But the reason why it's like that is because it's supposed to be about teamwork, not so much the individuality sort of thing. Hopefully if it's anything like squad, they'll add more factions that have specific weapons attached to them to give it more of a variety, you know. But I think the thing that annoyed me the most was the health indication thing. I understand that we need to indicate that your health is low and you're hit pretty bad, but my god, do you really have to put so much shit on my screen to the point that I can't see anything and freaking everything is just all around? Like, how am I supposed to play like that? I might as well just give up at that point because I can't see a goddamn thing. And the worst part about it is that it actually happened way more often than not because there's a lot of ledges in Battlefield 3 and if you jump just like two feet, you hurt yourself getting your screen covered with bloody marks. Like, again, I get it, but can we like tone it down just a little bit so I can see? Like, squad also has that indication system but it's not as bad as it is here like they need to just tone that down a lot because it is really annoying but aside from those couple of things the game played pretty well i actually quite liked it a lot i wasn't great at it because i've been playing a lot of slower paced games so when i hopped in i thought this was going to be like a battlefield type game but it really isn't like the only thing that's kind of the same is that you're able to like run a little faster but if you try to like go out you'll get insta tapped and i think somebody actually said that if you were to shoot someone in the head it would be an insta tab it would take about three shots to kill someone if you shoot them in the chest two in the arms i think and legs so it's a little more realistic i guess i think the one thing that i really love about this is that it has that destruction you know buildings actually do freaking fall apart My screen is all black. I can't see it. Betty. I'm pretty sure that's okay. Yeah, I guess so. My PTSD is kicking in. Someone touch me. Yeah. They've gained control of the market? I thought we already had it. Oh yeah, the whole fucking building. Medic, touch me, please. So one thing that I miss about the old battlefields is how destructible environments could be. Levolution. And like Squad, it also has fobs that you can set up and rally points. But as far as I know, there's no way to actually like supply them like you could in Squad. You just have to have like four squad members in the area to put down a fob and two to put down a rally. It's a little more simplistic, but yeah. That could also change in the future, not too sure. I haven't really like followed this game, so I don't know what's going to change and what's going to say the same. This is just what I experienced. But also this mod just makes the game feel more more like an actual battle because you're just in the thick of it and oh it's it's really immersive it's it's a good mod i like this a lot i don't know if i'm gonna be playing it that often though unless you guys want more videos of this stuff you know let me know because it was kind of fun i did like it but i wasn't that great at it i kept dying a lot i just have to get used to it because like my first time like playing for like the first couple of matches i was dying a lot and i was actually getting really pissed off but then i like cooled down and then went back in got more kills than i had before i found myself actually having fun but realizing that this is like a squad type of game where you basically Basically have to not get shot it had that level of hardcore to it so i definitely liked it if you guys want me to do more videos on it let me know and uh yeah i think that's pretty much the end of this video if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like this then be sure to like the video share the video comment down below for someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on this game or any other game that i decide to cover and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye